Speech Language and Audiology Canada, Wikipedia Article Audio Speech Language and Audiology Canada, formerly known as the Canadian Association of Speech Language Pathologists and Audiologists, is a national organization supporting and representing speech language pathologists, audiologists, and communication health assistants. The association adopted its new name and logo on February 5, 2014. Speech Language and Audiology Canada is a member-driven organization that supports, promotes and elevates the professions of its more than 6,000 members and associates. Through this support, SAC champions the needs of people with communication disorders. Structure Publications SAC's office is in Ottawa, Ontario. The SAC Board of Directors has between 10 to 16 directors who are elected by SAC's membership. The board includes a chair, first vice chair, second vice chair, director university, director communication health assistant and director student. SAC publishes the Canadian Journal of Speech Language Pathology and Audiology, an online, peer-reviewed academic journal on speech language pathology and audiology, and SAC in Action, an advocacy newsletter, both of which are accessible by the public. SAC also has a blog, Communique, and three other publications which are available exclusively to the association's members and associates. SAC offers many resources to both its membership and the general public. Members and associates can log into the member and associates area of SAC's website to access exclusive resources. Members of the general public can access the following without logging into the site. Each May SAC runs Speech and Hearing Month, a nationwide public awareness campaign that raises awareness about communication disorders and the professionals who can help. In recent years, SAC's Speech and Hearing Month has highlighted the importance of the early detection and intervention of communication disorders by creating resources and partnering with children's hospitals across Canada. Resources SAC has worked hard to raise awareness of the dangerous effects of noisy toys. It has encouraged the government to conduct further studies on noise related to toy safety and revise current legislation. SAC supports legislation that advocates the reduction of allowable noise decibel level in toys from the current 100 dB to 75 dB. On December 13, 2012, the Canadian Interorganizational Steering Group for Audiology and Speech Language Pathology, a consortium of professional associations, provincial regulatory bodies and university programs released Canadian Guidelines on Auditory Processing Disorder in Children and Adults, Assessment and Intervention. The guidelines provide a framework for working with individuals with this disorder. Awareness Campaigns As a member of CISG, SAC is confident that these guidelines will shed light on APD and help ensure that this disorder is managed in a consistent way across Canada. On March 25, 2014, SAC held a press conference to draw attention to the lack of comprehensive early hearing detection and intervention programs across the country. In collaboration with the Canadian Academy of Audiology, ELKS, and Royal Purple of Canada, the Canadian Pediatric Society and Voice for Hearing Impaired Children, SAC released a report card rating the state of EHDI programs throughout Canada. Out of all 13 provinces and territories, only five British Columbia, Ontario, Nova Scotia, Pay, and New Brunswick received a passing score and British Columbia was the only province to earn an excellent rating. Speech and Hearing Month Noisy Toys Campaign 
Auditory Processing Disorder Early Hearing Detection and Intervention Campaign Provincial Associations SACS Find a Professional Directory, Information Sheets, News Releases, Position Papers, Annual Reports, and Other Official Documents